Hey, welcome back to the channel. So last week I posted a video on my 2022 Twitter growth plan and that got a really good response, right? People love the breakdown and the clarity there. So I thought, why not just create one of these growth plans, uh, this growth plan video for every channel that I'm on this year. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to start with YouTube here. I'm also going to have one for my email list and my Facebook group. So stay tuned for that over the coming weeks. But before we hop into this growth plan here, make sure if you're enjoying the content, hit the like and subscribe button and watch this video to the end to see my entire growth plan, my goals, topics I'm going to talk about, my action plan, the things that I, I messed up in 2021, the mistakes I made, and also how I'm going to solve that this year. And with that said, let's jump into this growth plan for YouTube, my 2022 growth plan right now. So I have this fancy Google Doc on the screen. And I, I'm going to start all these growth plans with my vanity goal. And this is just basically the amount of followers or subscribers that I want to have. So for YouTube, my vanity goal is to cross 50,000 subscribers in 2022. So right now I'm at about 22,000 or so. There's 11 months, a little over 11 months left in the year, which comes out to about an average of 2,546 new subscribers every month or 83 new subscribers every day. And right now I'm getting on average around 42 or 43 subscribers. So I need to grow quite a bit more um, to hit this goal here. But vanity goals, the reason I, I say vanity goals, because uh, this is where most people stop, right? They just, they put the amount of subscribers they want and they don't have an exact action plan to hit that. So I'm going to cover that in this video here. So the topics I'm going to talk about are entrepreneurship, email marketing and copywriting, um, info products and digital products, building an audience, and just all around ways to, to make money online, right? Internet income. These are the topics that I talk about on basically all of my different social media channels and my email list. So this is what I'll be talking about on my YouTube channel as well, and the topics that my videos will be around. Now my action plan for hitting my vanity goal of 50,000 subscribers is broken down right here. So right now I post mostly two videos a week, but sometimes I'll miss a video. I try to post at least once per week. And that's what I want to do this year. I want to continue doing that. So every Monday and Wednesday, I'm typically posting a video and I'm usually filming it and editing the week before. So one to two videos a week, every Monday and Wednesday, and then I film and edit the videos and schedule them out every Friday. So I have a schedule now to do this. I didn't have the most organized schedule last year, but now I do all the filming and editing on my videos on one day and I schedule it out that same day. So Fridays are dedicated to just YouTube day, everything around filming, editing, thumbnails and all that. I do that on Friday. The next thing I want, I'm going to do is I'm going to continue to use vidIQ. This is a software that I use to find keywords and video ideas. And I'm going to do this every Wednesday. So this is vidIQ right here. I'll link to it below. It's a, it's a paid product, but they also have a free plan, I believe. And it's really cool for coming up with daily ideas for my videos. I can't remember what plan I'm on here, but I can look at this and I can get good ideas of what um, to create my videos around, right? Based on my channel and the topics on my channel. What I can also do is go to keywords here and I can, you see there's, there's some recommended keyword opportunities here, but I can type in something on my own, right? Like digital products. And I can see, let's, let's type that in here. I can see like, the score and if it would be good for me to create a video around. So you can see here digital products. This is, I think, monthly search volume. This is, I think, monthly search volume. Yeah, it is monthly search. So 105,136 views, low competition. So this is a, a topic or a keyword that I'm going to start creating more content around because this is good. I like to look for, for scores of like 65 and higher. Um, so this is solid, right? 70 overall score in vidIQ. Decent search volume, right? 105,000 views every month. And this is actually how uh, I rank number one, or I think I rank number one for Twitter marketing. So I found Twitter marketing in this tool. You can see 76 overall score, very low competition. And it also gives you more keyword ideas that go along with this, right? So some longer tail keywords like Twitter marketing tips, um, social media marketing, and you can also search by the overall score here. So if I wanna go by the highest score, you can see all these opportunities here. We got Alex Berman, um, a friend of mine on Twitter. Email marketing, this is a really good one right here, 439,000 monthly searches, very low competition with a score of 77. So I'm gonna be using this tool a lot more. I did use this in, in 2021, but I didn't have a organized process around it. I would more so just go in and look when I was feeling like it. So I'm gonna use this every Wednesday to come up with video ideas to film on Friday to post the following week. So this is vidIQ, I'll link to it below. It'll be an affiliate link because 
Uh, it's a paid product and I love this product, but this is how I come up with the video ideas. Another way you can come up with video ideas is to go to somebody's channel. So I'll just go to, let's, let's just use my channel for an example. So I'll go to a competitor's channel and I'll sort by most popular. And I can see like the most pop, my Twitter marketing video, I think I rank number one for this still, is my most viewed video 10 months ago, 117,000 views. And so if I see somebody else's channel where they have this many views and I only have 21,500 subscribers, so the views are like four or five times higher than my subscribers, which means it's a good topic to create a video around. So that's another way that, that I will uh, come up with keyword ideas and video topic ideas. So that is vidIQ, finding keywords and video ideas. I'm gonna do this every Wednesday, spend a few hours doing that. And as far as content, I'm gonna to try to alternate between these three types of content. So we got evergreen content, which is content that is gonna be relevant for a long period of time, right? So I can create something around like cold email strategies or copywriting, uh, things that aren't gonna go out of style with like in a, within like a month or a week, right? So topics that um, people can watch the video a year, two years later, and it's still relevant. That's evergreen content. Second type is trending content. So I haven't done too much of this, although I want to. So trending content, last year we had, or the year before that, stimulus checks, right? And that was like a super, super hot topic on YouTube. So that's an example of trending content. It's not really a hot topic anymore, but if you catch these trends at the right time, um, like this one right here, my second most viewed video, drop servicing, that was a trend at one point. I think it still has decent search volume, but at one point it was trending really high. So I created a video around that. Um, so I want to find these trending topics and you can do it through like the explore page here. Um, you can just do it by looking at news articles and headlines and creating something around that. The tricky part for me is I run a business channel. So um, not everything I'm going to be able to talk about in the trending topic. So that's why I haven't done it too much so far, but I do want to start finding more of these trending topics and tying my content or creating videos around that to benefit from that trending traffic. Um, so that's trending uh, content or videos or topics that are hot right now, but not going to be hot like in a week or two weeks or a month down the road. And then lastly, some personal content. So this is just content like stories about me or things that are happening in my life and maybe like a day in the life or like a review video of like something I use. So I'm, I haven't done this too much either, but I want to start doing this uh, more. Let me see if I can find an example of that. Uh, this right here could be considered personal content, right? So my million dollar game plan for 2022 um, to get a million dollars in profit in my online business this year. Let's see if we can find another one here. Uh, right here, stop being cheap, right? So this is like a personal content style video and it just shares a story about me, how I grew up cheap. I grew up with this broke mindset. Uh, I was always trying to save money and I, I break it down in this video why being cheap is actually bad, how it can ruin your life. So this is an example of personal content Evergreen content is, uh, let's see, evergreen content would be, I guess a lot of this is evergreen content because it, it's gonna be relevant down the road, but make money on Twitter, that's probably evergreen content because people are always searching for Twitter and how to make money online. Three skills to make you rich, um, growing your email list, avoiding broke clients, like these are all evergreen content topics because they're gonna be relevant a year from now, two years from now. And then trending content, I don't have too much of that, but I guess you could call my most viewed video actually trending content, but it's a mixture of trending and evergreen, right? Because this is grow fast on Twitter and it's actually for 2021, but it's actually still relevant for this year too. So those are the different content types I'm gonna use, evergreen, trending, personal content. And also another thing I'm gonna do is add a description to every video with links to my free and paid offerings. So. YouTube actually has a setting where you can have, you can upload or copy and paste a description so it's automatically uploaded to every video. So I've already done that. Let's see if I can bring it up right here. Uh, I added it to a few of my most viewed videos. But you can see in the description here, and this is another reason why YouTube is pretty cool, is they're not gonna penalize you on reach if you add a ton of links here. So you can see here, I have my paid offerings right here, work with me. And I also have my free offerings here for my free materials, like my free course right here at seananthony.co, my free Facebook group, email marketing rainmakers, subscribing to my channel, and then following me on Twitter. So all of my links to all of my free and paid offers are in the description, and this is posted automatically now. 
So if I go out of here, that's my action plan, right? One to two videos a week on Monday and Wednesday, film and edit on Friday, find keywords and video ideas on Wednesday to, to film and edit on Friday, alternate between evergreen trending and personal content and add a description to every video with links to my free and paid offers. That is the exact action plan I'm gonna follow to hit this number right here, 50,000 subscribers in 2022. Now some mistakes from 2021 that helped me to come up with this action plan. The first thing was I focused on quantity over quality. So I was actually dragging my feet a lot during some weeks and I just didn't wanna make a video. I was just creating a video just to hit that quota and I was just focused on quantity over quality. And I think it has a lot to do with me not spending enough time researching video topics and keyword ideas. So that's where these two come in, right? Just using vidIQ and my, my consistent schedule with this. So if I spend more time researching video topics and ideas, I think that I'll have a lot more higher quality of videos because I'll have more of a structure around what the video should be around and also guidance on the type of topic or video idea, evergreen trending or personal content. The third thing was I didn't have an organized schedule for filming and editing for about half the year. Um, around July or so, I started filming and editing on Friday and scheduling it out for the next week. But up until then, like five or six months or so, I didn't have a really organized schedule. So I was just filming on Friday one day and Wednesday the other day and Thursday the other day. So it's all over the place and it made me not want to do it. So now that I have a more organized schedule for filming and editing and coming up, coming up with ideas, it's a lot easier for me to just go and do it. The fourth thing is I went off the cuff too much during some videos. So now I'm going to spend more time scripting my videos out or at least putting in the main points. I'll show you real quick what I used to do that. I have this, cool, this tool called Notion. It's a free tool. And you can see here, I have like video ideas here for what I can create videos around. So um, FAQs or basic tutorials or a how-to series or answering comments. So I have a bunch of video ideas like the hooks for the video when I, I combine it with the video topic. And then I also have this scripting section. So these are all my completed videos here. And basically I script out the intro, like what I wanna say, the, the main points in the video that I wanna cover. So you can see it here. And then the conclusion. So I don't script this out word for word. Uh, this video I scripted out more than I usually do, but I want the main points in here, the main talking points, so I know exactly what to follow. So in 2021, I didn't do that too much. I mainly had like an idea, like just three sentences, like here, talk about this. And I would just go off the cuff. And some videos you can kind of tell, right? I, I ramble in some videos, I just talk a little too long. And I went off the cuff and that caused me to, to have these longer videos that would bore some people, right? And get people to click off. So I wanna have more structured videos. It's not completely scripted, but I wanna have the main points and the main talking points listed out here on Notion so that I can know exactly what to follow, what to say in my videos. So that was an, a mistake that I made in 2021 that I'll be fixing this year. And also I didn't have links to my paid offers in my descriptions. So most of the links were to my, my Facebook group and my free offers but I also want to have my paid offers linked here because I have a lot of people who ask, I have a lot of people who look and message me directly like, hey, uh, what products do you have to, 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 for us to buy or to sign up for? And so I'll just have it here so people can sign up and see it on their own. So those are the main mistakes uh, from 2021 that I'm fixing and how I created this action plan was, was wanting to solve these mistakes. And some 2022 non-negotiables. What are things that I must do this year aside from the action plan here? So my videos, first of all, must deliver value in the form of an insight, wisdom, lesson, or entertainment. My videos have to focus on quality over quantity. And you're probably gonna notice a lot of these are just the opposite of what I listed up here, the mistakes. My videos will always send people to the next step. So at the end of every video, I'm telling people to, to either watch another video or to check out a product or to go to my free Facebook group at emailrainmaker.com. You'll notice that if you watch my videos. So my videos always have to send people to the next step. I'm never gonna just say, hey, that's it for this video. I'll, I'll see you later. I wanna send them and tell them exactly what to do after watching the video. My videos also must get the reader to think or behave differently, right? We do that by delivering an insight, wisdom, lesson, lesson or piece of entertainment. And then also I need to follow the action plan every day and week and month. The action plan is laid out here. Very easy and simple to follow this now that I have it laid out. And those are my non-negotiables. I need to be doing these things day in and day out, uh, week in and week out, month after month. And with all of my videos here. 
So this is my 2022 YouTube growth plan. I personally love YouTube. It's a lot more work than other channels, but I have videos from two years ago when I first started posting that are still getting views, that are still getting subscribers, that are still getting ad revenue from Google AdSense and getting new customers into my business every day. So these videos, you can make a video like a year ago or two years ago, and it can continue to get views for years and years and years. And there's no other platform that can really do that. So I love YouTube. It's more work, but I would say that maybe 30 to 40% of my business uh, comes from YouTube, either directly or indirectly. Uh, people watch a video, they want to learn more, they buy my product, but my YouTube, my YouTube channel is a huge part of my business. So if you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel this year, which I definitely recommend if you're even thinking about it, follow this growth plan. You can copy it and just basically change out the topics and the action plan based on your situation and start and grow your YouTube channel this year. So if you enjoyed this video, you got value out of it, give it a like and let me know in the comments if you're starting a YouTube channel this year. And if you want to stay up to date on all of my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos. And that's it for this video. I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.